Hey guys, it's Olivia at OMG Artistry, and this is the OMG Beauty Show. A little bit about me. I come from a videography and a photography background while going to school for makeup and cosmetology. I spent so many years behind the camera till one day I got the courage to be in front of it. I started to realize I have so many passions, I couldn't just pick one. And then something life-changing happened. I discovered a well-known photo sharing app and began my social journey that blossomed into beauty hacks, tips, tricks, myths, and so much more. Now let's move on. This show is meant to go shopping. This show will make you call your bestie and say, oh my gosh, you have to watch this show. These QR codes take you directly to purchase products that I include in my beauty hacks. And then they show up directly at your door. That's pretty genius, right? And the rest is history. I am an information machine and I love recommending products. I'm sure to do my research and I fully stand behind all of my recommendations. We don't like wasting time or money around here. And that's how the OMG Beauty Show was born. The show is made for the consumer, the pro, and the clueless. And as your beauty bestie, I will show you how to look your best while feeling your best. I'm gonna help you shine from the inside out. So tune in bestie, let's go shopping. Hey guys, it's Olivia at OMG Artistry, and this is the OMG Beauty Show, where you'll learn all my tips, tricks, hacks, myths, anything. I could just randomly grab something and tell you a hack about it. I'm, like I said, an information machine, and you'll be sure to learn so much on this episode. So first and foremost, I'm gonna show you guys how I got these incredible lashes and I love them so much. And then I'm actually gonna show you guys how I recreated these curls using a Babyliss iron. And then where did I get all this volume from? Let me tell you, stay tuned guys. You know it's gonna be a good day when you discover mascara hacks. So I feel literally like I just, I feel naked right now with absolutely nothing on my eyelashes, full face, all that, but the look does not come together unless your mascara looks amazing. So today I wanted to tell you about Blink Cosmetics. So I have been a long time user of Blink Cosmetics. I've probably been using their uh, tubing mascara for maybe like 12 years now. And they may have just invented the most perfect addition to their arsenal of products. Let me tell you about it. So here it is. This is Blink's new ultraviolet tubing mascara. It gives you kind of like that semi matte black look. So beautiful. So you can actually sweat. You can cry. You can rub your eyes. It does not flake off. It does not come off. I'm a huge fan of waterproof mascaras. However, the other side of that is that it takes forever to come off. Um, so I'm really not a fan of the actual taking off process of mascara. Um, the one thing that I do love about this is that I feel like it's actually buildable. So you could go for a daytime look right into a nighttime look. The building fibers inside this mascara are on another level. So I have finally found my perfect mascara to take me all day and through the night. And then when I get to that nighttime, it's easy to take off. So I think Blink, you have just made the most incredible mascara because I was a fan. I was a fan for 12 years, way before, right? But now with this one, with the volumizing, I think this is just, just what changed the game for me. So I always start with a little bit of a crimp in my lashes and I will do that actually before I put on my eyeliner. Cause what ends up happening is when you put on eyeliner and then you crimp it, you'll get indentations or you'll get product right at that lash line. So you don't want to do that. So what I like to do with my crimping of my lashes is I like to go at the base and then I lift it up and then I go at the ends. 
So I go right at the base, lift it up, angle it just a little bit, and then go right at the ends because it really gives me that full lift in my lashes. So I go right at my base, and then I elevate it just a little bit. So you could already just see it made a huge difference in just lifting my lashes. So just one thing to point out about the Blink Ultraviolet Tubing Mascara is that it's the brush that really sets it apart when it comes to the separation in your lashes. So it's super fine and it's super soft, um, but it also gives flexible control um, and really good separation, like I mentioned. And what I like to do is I like to start at the base of my lashes and just kind of go back and forth to really push the product right into where the base of it is. And then I work my way out. So I'm giving it kind of that like wiggle right at the lashes to really push the product in. And don't be afraid to like turn it. So I'm gonna do a side by side comparison of this because I want you to see like what my natural lashes look like as opposed to how beautiful this looks. Okay, so I have my first base. And then what I like to do is I'll work on like this side and I'll let this dry a little bit and then I go back into it. So we're only doing one side. So give me a minute. Do not pump your mascara ever because you're actually adding more oxygen from the air into your mascara, meaning that it's gonna dry out faster. So what I do is I put it in, I swivel it around and then I gently pull it out, okay? Now, same technique back at the base. Honestly, your first base could be great because it's just daytime, you're just kind of working out, you just wanna kind of darken your lashes, enhance them just a little bit, but I'm gonna go for drama today. I chose drama this morning. So I would say I'm like on my third and fourth coat of this mascara right now. So already I can't, it's so beautiful. So I'm gonna go one more time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go vertical and then I'm going to be pulling the fibers up the lashes. So this helps to get a good base and then this helps to elongate the lashes. And this also provides just like a little bit of separation too. So this is beautiful, the separation, the thickness. You know, it actually looks it actually looks like I have lashes on, like fake lashes. So let me show you what the other side looks like, but you could just see side by side. Crazy. So good. So good. So this is the final look. And yes, they look exactly like falsies. So Blink, I fell in love with your first one, but the second one, I think I have favorites. You're gonna see the QR code pop up right here and it'll take you directly to purchase this product. So when we come back, we're gonna go right into our next hack. So this is a normal sized curling iron and this is the extended barrel. So you could just see a side-by-side -side difference how much hair is actually going to be able to fit on this extended barrel iron. All right, are you guys ready for another hack? So, few issues that I have actually heard from a few clients, from people online, it's they feel like their curling iron is not long enough, right? So maybe if they have longer hair, such as myself, the issues that lie is that it's not curling all the way up, and then they feel like the base of their hair is just not getting enough wave. So Babilis came up with the solution to this issue uh, with their extended barrel iron. This is like beautiful beyond belief. The color, I mean, it's just insanely gorgeous, but this is actually a part of their Nano Titanium series. So this is actually two inches longer than a normal curling iron. So this is a normal sized curling iron and this is the extended barrel. So you could just see a side-by-side -side difference how much hair is actually going to be able to fit on this extended barrel iron, which is amazing. And especially for people with longer hair. Um, so this is actually a one inch this is a one inch iron, so it's going to really provide kind of that 
beachy textured look. So the hack I'm gonna show you guys today is my kind of curl is what I call it. So I like to have a little bit of wave, a little bit of body, but I do like to keep my length. I do like to have kind of those straightened ends and it does help to keep my hair long. So have you ever curled your hair and you're like, oh, now I have short hair? Well, by doing this technique, it will allow you to still have a little bit of body movement beachiness, but also maintain your length of your hair. So when I curl my hair, I have a tendency to not, I'm gonna repeat this, I do not section out my hair. I find it to be so much faster and so much more lived in when I'm not sectioning at all, all right? So what I do, and keep in mind, this iron is at 355 right now. I do have color treated hair. Um, I do use lightener on my hair. So I'm sticking at a 355 and I do have heat protection on my hair. If you have medium to thick hair, you can go right up to like the 395 on top of this iron. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, if you notice right here where my money piece is, I always like to isolate that area when it comes to my curls. So you're gonna notice that when I curl, I hold the hair very taut, okay? And I'm holding it and I'm making sure that all that section is in one piece of my hair. It's not looking like I'm grabbing it like this, right? Like all the section is in one spot, okay? And then what I'm gonna do, so I am right-handed. So what I do is I lift up the spoon. Do you see how the spoon is just a little bit shorter than the hair? This is what's gonna help you maintain that beachy wave. So I'm gonna open up the spoon and everything away from the face is beachy. Everything that you put in the face is vintage, okay? So vintage meaning in the way, in the face of your curls. So what I'm gonna do is just re-grab that area. So the barrel will live always back here. If you're curling like this in the face, know that that's vintage. Okay. Just to give you a little bit of an idea. All right. So I'm grabbing the hair taut, opening up the spoon and I'm putting it in. And then do you see how there's the ability right here to be able to grab it, which I do love this safe spot. So I'm bringing that hair down. I'm bringing it back up. And then here's the kicker. I'm going to pull that hair down, okay? So let me show you one more time around the face. So these pieces, keep in mind, these pieces are shorter. So even though it's not the longevity of my hair, the iron is still manageable for people that do have medium or shorter styles. So I'm gonna bring that up, bring it up, and then pull that hair down. Okay. So then what I like to do is as I get towards where the ear is, that's where I'm going to start splitting the hair in half, but I'm going to be doing it by how I grab it. So I'm going to grab a little section like this and you never want to take this entire section and just curl it because it's going to give you like this really long barrel-y type of curl. You don't want to do that. You actually want to section into two and also when you do section your hair into two, you get more volume of that curl at the top. Because if you're starting the curl down here, you're not gonna receive that volume of that curl. So again, out of the face. So it means that it goes behind me. I'm grabbing it, I'm twisting it up, and then I'm pulling that hair out. So as I'm pulling that hair out, that's how you're gonna get that kind of nice straighter look at the very end. Okay, and again, you're gonna see this is a very long, wide section. Just taking my finger, getting that big section out of the way, and then splitting it in half. And then again, opening up my spoon, pushing it back. So the Babyliss irons, the one thing that they are known for, read the reviews, is that these curls are super, super long lasting. Like my curls will last anywhere from like three to four, and I could even sometimes stretch them to five days. So if you're not using a good tool, there's a reason why your curls aren't lasting. If you're not using a good tool, there's a reason why your hair looks crunchy or it looks burnt or it looks dry. 
So when you buy and you purchase the correct tools in your arsenal, that's what's gonna make all the difference for your style and for the longevity, not to mention the health of your hair. Okay, so now that this side is done, I want to explain to you how to do the other side because that's what everybody has a problem with is the opposite side and curling. So that being said, same thing. I'm gonna take a very small section in the front and now what you're gonna to wanna to do, this is how I do it to make it so much easier for me, is now I'm going to almost like curl in. This is gonna be the motion that you're doing. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this, I just grab this and then I pull it. It's very close to your face. Be very, very careful. Do you see how I'm not even really holding the barrel on there very long for these front pieces? Okay, the less the hair in the iron, the less time you need to keep the heat on there, okay? But smaller sections like this gives you more curl. So when you have bigger sections, it will give you a looser curl. Grabbing the section, wrapping it around. Do you see how I'm almost grabbing this too? Cause I wanna keep that hair together. I don't want that hair to look like this. I want the hair to look like this. That's what's gonna make all the difference for the final look. I have literally sat here for like maybe 10 minutes because I'm letting my hair completely cool off. You wanna make sure that it completely cools off. Do not spray any product on it when it's hot because what ends up happening is when your hair is releasing that steam outside of it, which is the moisture inside, when you go and you take a bottle and you spray it on top of it, you're actually trapping that moisture back inside. So that's why I always advise to do hairspray when it's completely, completely dry or any texture spray or any product in it whatsoever. So now what I like to do is I actually don't like to use a brush. I love using just my hands and my fingertips to really kind of pull out these curls. So we have all of this volume down here, but what about up here? It's kind of flat. So when we come back, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to achieve that volume at the top and it's without teasing your hair. We'll be right back. So I saw her using this Joyco Rise Up powder and I knew I had to recreate this style. Let's watch. Hello and welcome back. So this is the Beauty Bestie segment. So what that means is people have submitted to me their beauty hacks on Instagram. They film it themselves, they post it on their page, and then they use the hashtag OMG Artistry and tag at OMG Artistry. And they have had the opportunity to get featured. So you guys can actually submit your beauty hacks to me to be featured on this segment. So today I will actually be featuring one of my beauty besties, May. She is a color correction specialist, but an incredible tutorialist that has really cool hacks. So I saw her using this Joyco Rise Up powder and I knew I had to recreate this style. Let's watch. I hate teasing my hair. It always shows through the top. Oh. Invisible, amazing. I like how she does it in sections. Oh, girl, what? Whoa, whoa, look at that lift. Oh, she looks so happy. She's so beautiful. So we're gonna try it on myself today just the way that May did. So with the Joyco Rise Up, there's actually a few things that I do love about the product is it is so easy to use because of the applicator, right? because of the applicator bottle, but it allows it to go directly to where the spot is that you want and you do not need a lot. 
Let me repeat that. You do not need a lot to really pack a punch in this little bottle. All right, so what I like to do is always right here, I actually learned this. So I used to do um, hair for the Miss USA and the Miss Universe pageants. And the one thing that they always said was this is where you wear your crown. That's what they used to say. So right here is where all of the volume is to make up like an actual profile of your hair. So it's not even sometimes everybody just teases like right here. It's not necessarily that you need it only here. You mostly need it here. So what I like to do is I'll just even pick up that piece in the back and I'm just gonna do one pump, single, one pump. Okay, let it lay out. And I did it on the front side and because it's a bigger section, I'll do it on the other side. And then what I'm gonna do from here, same thing, one pump, but I'm gonna almost like spray it like throughout, okay? Okay, one pump. And then from here, same thing, diagonal back. Lift up that section. So this rise up is actually what you'll see in the intro to the OMG Beauty Show. This is the product that I'm spraying in there that looks so cool. So you can see, as soon as I start rubbing it in and massaging with my fingertips, <laughs> the volume, it really, really packs a punch and a little bit goes a super long way. So believe it or not, this actually is a liquid into a powder formula, which is just so cool and it does not feel tacky. I can literally go like this and it feels like there's nothing there. So the one thing that I did not mention, which is the best part of this product, is the style retention of the product. So you can literally go like this in the middle of your day, in the middle of your dinner, inside the bathroom, or maybe you're just running out the door to go somewhere and just go like this and it will actually revamp the volume of your hair, which is so cool. So you're not adding more product. You're not adding more tease into your hair. And did you guys know that teasing can actually break off your hair? Yes, you're creating knots, literally creating knots right at your root in order to create that volume. But you don't have to do that anymore. We have the Joyco Rise Up. So from here, you're gonna see the little QR code pop up and you could take a picture and it'll take you directly to the website in order to purchase. This has been an amazing episode of the OMG Beauty Show. Just remember guys, a lot of times when we are internalizing our thoughts and we are dealing with things on the inside that we just need to be kind to ourselves. We need to meditate. We need to have a logical explanation for what we are actually thinking on the inside. I'm a big fan, big, big, big fan of taking notes exactly how I'm feeling. I actually have, I guess you could call it like an anxiety journal maybe. And I talk about, <laughs> I talk about things with myself um, on maybe just, you know, what I had talked about in the first episode, analysis paralysis, um, but also just having a clear vision of at that time, what is holding me back in life and what is holding me back from pursuing my dreams and what is holding me back from not getting things done. And that could be uh, the form of procrastination, uh, could be a form of not taking care of myself. Um, it could also be a form of not really wanting to have the willpower to do the certain things that I want to do with my life. When I write it down, when I write down in this journal exactly what my tasks are every day and I break it down into an A, B, C, one, two, three, dot, 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 it really helps me to clarify what my purpose, what my message is, and how do I get there to those moments. So a really good advice as your beauty bestie, start journaling and writing down the things that are holding you back. I'm telling you, bestie, you can do it. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of the OMG Beauty Show. I'll see you guys next time. If you wanna see any products, miscellaneous stuff that I was using, or maybe you missed the QR code, you can head to this QR code right here and it'll take you to my website. I have a blog post, maybe about insulary things that I didn't bring up on here, but also all the products that I used for this episode. See you guys there.